Hello, happy Sunday, happy almost April, happy end of March. Oh, I feel like I haven't made a video in forever, but I have quite a few videos I wanna at least do today. I wanna do my bookshelf, I have some stuff for a zigzag. I need to put together my giveaway video, so those you can expect to see in the next few days, but um, I was really busy this month with like candles and then also with the treasure trove box, which finally I was able to get out. And now I'm just, uh, <laughs> Hoping that everything arrives safely, but anywho, um, today I'm doing my empties, uh, per the usual lately, way more candles than there are actual wax empties, and I have my unfinished stuff to the side here, and there's quite a bit there. I did finish my, well I didn't finish it, but I did every single day of the advent calendar for Rose Girls, and I'm currently also, um, filming a vlog for March. Today will be the last day, which is good because I have a fuckload of footage. So I'll probably spend most of my day trying to edit that. Get this uploaded first while I edit my Vlarch. And also I need to film my bookshelf because I didn't do one for February. And I have February and March to do. <laughs> Just a lot of things to catch up on. But um, March is a good month. Had a lot of really nice yummy scents. Um, so yeah, let's just get into that. Up first, I have Fairy Sonnet, which I actually have this one going in my other, oh, my other room. I really like violet scents. I find them to be very soothing and relaxing. Sorry, I'm shivering. It's really freaking cold. It's been storming the last few days, um, and I've woken up to snow now on Saturday and Sunday. Not a lot, but enough to be like really disgusted by that. Anywho. Back to Fairy Sonnet, which is Rose Jelly, Orange Mimosa, and Parma Violets. And a feel of a three, a throw of a four. This is pretty strong. Um, I melted the last little cube today. It was sad, but it was a good time. Um, Italian Bergamot and Sandalwood from, I guess, Dee Dee. I don't know. It's a Hobby Lobby wax. A peel of a throw and a half. A throw and a half. <laughs> a feel of a three and a half and a throw of a four. I really liked this. Like, I, I'm a huge lover of Bergamot. I'm very picky about my Bergamot. It's really difficult to find a good bergamot and wax because typically it just is not. I think it tends to, for most people, pull a little bit more um, masculine and almost like chemically versus like that bright, delicious bergamot scent. And this one was really nice. I feel like the wood and the bergamot really complemented each other. Um, and the sandalwood was kind of in there. Sometimes sandalwood can be very like overpowering not in this one. I would get this one again. All right, now from the bathing garden, I finished a uh, sticky Irish pudding and a peel of a one, a throw of a three. It looks like I wrote something on here. Let me try and see what it says. I should really write this in a darker thing. Hmm. Oh, I put on there that was very sweet. Yeah, it was just too sweet to me. Uh, I am someone who likes like fresh, clean, masculine, floral, some bakery scents, but I don't like uber bakery. Like it has to be a balanced kind of scent. This one was just way too freaking sweet. And I forgot, oh, it also was um, using this when I was burning my coffee candle and it was just like, it smelled like, um, is it called an Irish coffee? Or is that just whiskey? Well, it was like a Bailey's coffee kind of situation in my house. Um, if you like super sweet caramel scents, you would love this, but it just for me, it wasn't my thing. Peel a one, a throw of a three. I think I already said that. Shamrock Mint was an appeal of a three and a half, a throw of a five. This was like gum, like a minty gum, which I loved. I like minty scents and it was a really nice blend that day. And I was like, yeah, I don't think I melted this in the bathroom at all. It was mostly in this room. It just smelled really clean and almost like a gum toothpastey mint. Moss Maiden. I finished this up last night. Uh, peel of a three, a throw of a three. It was just a nice middle of the road scent. Clean yet earthy. I wanted it to be a little bit more wet, but it was more of like a drier scent. Because I love rainy scents when it's rainy. And since Super Tarts is doing some kind of weird situation where she's only announcing on Facebook when she has new wax up, so it's hard. And I, <laughs> I really want forks, but you know, I just have to make it work. From Rose Girls, I finished Clothes in the Rain, which is an appeal of a three, a throw of a four. It's warm, clean laundry, and fresh rain. I like that mostly in the bathroom. It has like a nice, 
it's very strong and like clean, but then as it wears down, very like powdery. Mint condition or in mint condition. This was one of the uh, days, can't remember what day, I think it was day three or day two, maybe day two from the Rose Girls Fresh and Clean Advent Calendar. Uh, this is Salty Sea Spray, Hot Sand, Herbal Lavender, and Icy Mint. Mostly when it was going, um, I could smell like the mint and a little bit of the lavender. It was in a peel of a three. It smelled good to me on cold. The throw was a two. It was hardly like noticeable. I currently have a huge chunk of it in my bathroom and I walked in there and I can't smell anything. So I just, maybe it was just like one of those scents that just doesn't, just doesn't. Um, blackberry, pink sugar, and a peel of a three and a half, a throw of a four. I think this was a gift to my friend. Yeah, it was good. This was a really candy blackberry. I tend to like a more perfumey blackberry. I don't like the ones that are very fruity or candy-like, but this one was the perfect blend because I think with the pink sugar really came and like mellowed it out and just gave it like a little bit of a sexy note as well as smell like, it was like a, hmm, in between like an adolescent like perfume, but like 18 or 19, 16 to 19 range. This is what it smells like, like that classic, like sweet, like girly scent that someone at that age range would wear. <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry, Blackberry Rain, or Blackberry Rain Zen, an appeal of a four, a throw of a five. This one was a little bit on the candy side. It wasn't like quite perfumey, but the Blackberry wasn't as noticeable to me as the Zen was. The Zen was the star of the show, which I love Zen, so I enjoyed that. If I saw that again, I would get that, and same thing with this one. Um, this is another one from the advent calendar, Social Butterfly, I think this was day three. Um, fresh cut grass and sweet lavender, guava, lychee, orchid, and jasmine, and I peel of a two and a half, a throw of a three and a half. Um, primarily on cold, I smelled the freaking fruit, okay, now mind you, this was supposed to be the fresh and clean sampler, but it was very fruity, suspiciously <laughs> fruity to me. Um, on warm, however, I mostly got the fresh cut grass and it was really nice. It was definitely like a fruity grass. Um, would I say it was like a super clean scent? No. Did I hate it as much as I thought I would? No. Did I enjoy it? Yes, but not enough for me to want this again. Like it was a good time while I had it and I'm not sad that it's done. I'm like, okay, bye. So that's it for the empties. Now we're gonna get into the candles. Um, like I said, there's a lot of them here, but I had to test a lot of the cups that I use and um, also to see what they smell like and what they burn like, etc. cetera. Um, even though there's quite a lot of variety scents here, a lot of them weren't my favorite just because I have really strong scent preferences for what I like. But however, that, you know, that's just me. I know some scents that I don't care for people really love <laughs> and some that I love people are like, eh. But you know, that is what it is. I currently have my NorCal Bro, or my Coastal Bro, the NorCal edition. Um, so I guess I'll just start off with the manly scents. I finished another Sexy Man. I really like this glass. This one got really smoky. I'm really lazy about trimming my wicks. And I don't care if it does this because I know this will like wash off and it doesn't bother me at all. I know some people like wipe their candles after like each use. I, I don't care, um, but if I notice that the, like for a big glass, like I don't really care about the, the wick, but if it's a smaller glass, I know that'll make it go crazy and I don't want it to crack. So I will trim the wick. So it just depends on how I'm feeling, <laughs> whether or not I trim the wick. I have trimmed that wick a few times. Um, but anywho, all this to say, trim your wicks. Um, Sexy Man, I really love, um, one of my favorites. Uh, this one performed well, he always does for me. Um, where's another dude scent? Okay, here we go. Smoky Man, I really liked. However, I did make him twice, so two rounds of him. I think I'm gonna amp up the smoky factor and I also wanna amp up the like, um, the tree note. Just tweak it a little bit and maybe even more of the leather. Like there's another one that I made recently. I don't have him here. It's a Midwest man. And I definitely wanna change the, up the leather on that one because the like farm note just overpowered everything. But that's, that's how I learn by <laughs> burning them and seeing what I want to do. Okay, I think that's it for the men. Yeah, that's it. For, okay. Um, 
and I really like this glass. I'm excited to use some of the glassware. It's like one of my favorite. I melted two of my um, Prosperity and Abundance candles. These are really good, really effective for me. Um, this was just like an odd version because I made these labels and they were too big for this glass. So I'm like, okay, let me make myself a big one. So I just kind of slapped it all around. <laughs> this is not what it looks like. It usually looks like this, but I actually changed it on the newer ones because I wanted to add more money. But love these effective. The scent is like a, a cinnamon bay leaf kind of scent with clove. Um, this was a whimsical fairground. I really loved this glass and the way the light was refracting everything. And this is, uh, oops, how it looks. This was like a kind of like a carnival scent with a little bit of like sunshine. Um, this was um, a tester for a new candle, which was called, going to be called Sensual Man. But I wanted to make like a more like sexy, more sensitive guy. I liked it. But all I could smell was like the smoky vanilla. So I'm going to continue going back to the drawing board for that. Um, this one I hated. I forgot what it was called. It was like cashmere something. Did not like it. And the oil that I used just did some weird shit to the wax and irritating me. But I love this glass. Um, these were two of my glittering love brew little babies. Um, love this scent. This is one that I always make again. It's just one of my favorite like sexy perfumey scents. Um, this was, I think this was fruit tea, which is like a fruit tea flavored or scented. I liked it, um, but it is fruity, so it's not one that I would like burn again, um, but it performed well in this cup, so that's cool. Um, Laundry Day Delight, one of my favorites. I want to make it again, um, and I thought it wasn't going to work well in this glass, and it was kind of giving me issues, but I really like the shape glass. I have a few more, so this is how I test them, but Laundry Day Delight was one of my absolute favorites and it I love this glass I only have one of these but oh, it's so perfect really pretty soft like laundry one uh, fairy cakes I just made this one recently absolutely love this scent it's so delicious but there are some things I want to make stronger so I'm definitely going to make that one again I think this one was either whispering woods or cashmere woods this one performed well I didn't really care for the scent though this was like my purple mystery didn't like that scent but I love that glass I think this was Whispering Woods. I didn't pay attention and the wick was way too long and I didn't trim it and this is what it did. So I had to like whoop, go in after. <laughs> um, then this one was, uh, I think Lilac Delight. Uh, I didn't like this scent when I was making it and I didn't really care for it um, on cold, but when I burned it, I really liked it and I noticed more of that marshmallow and lilac playing really well. Um, this one got a little out of hand because I didn't trim the wick. And this one didn't finish all the way, but I liked this little, like, teacup situation. This one was, like, my apple orchard, which is, like, an apple peach blend with marshmallow. At first, I got, like, a caramel apple. That's all I could smell the first time. And then on the very end, all I could smell was, like, the marshmallow. So I'll return to the block with this one. Green Oasis was one of my freaking favorites. Ugh. I wish I remembered what I used because <laughs> it was a really nice, soothing, clean, like green scent. And I baby this one for a few months, but <sighs> so sad it's gone. But I love this cup. It's one of my favorite ones, as well as this one. This one was um, Sacred Citrus Grove. It burned really well. Love this glass. Um, I noticed more of like the citrusy than I did like the woodsy part, but it was supposed to be like a citrus blend. So. I don't know if I'd make that one again because it was just like a bunch of essential oils. Uh, this one was uh, testing out a cup. I forget. This one was healing waters. Um, ended up being more floral than I expected than more watery, but I didn't mind that. And this one was Beltane's flame. I didn't let it burn properly the first time because I had to go. So I had to blow it out before it got completely from wall to wall. So it did kind of tunnel a little bit, but towards the end, this is all that was left and I really like these containers. I'm calling them a glass cauldron, but I think they're just a salsa mojajete, but <laughs> what can you do? And then um, this one was Whispering Woods. I thought this glass wasn't going to work well, but it actually did um, and it burned pretty good. I didn't really care for the scent though. Okay, that's all of my candles now for my non-empty. I have all two bags here. Melted more of marshmallow rose jam. I really love this scent and I'm kind of like sparingly using it because I know she's not going to have it again until next year and I want this year round. 
Uh, Moody Love, I really like this on warm. It's a very sexy, dark, smoky, like fruity kind of scent, but especially on the smoky, which I really love. I talk about this in my, in my vlog, but uh, this combination is so freaking good. I even put a scent note. Whoa. Yeah, this one is so good. I need more of this. I, I'll have to look on her website. If she has it, I'll buy it. It's so fucking good. I think it's my new favorite. I think it might even beat out Marshmallow Rose Jam. It's so good. I don't even know what the scent notes are, but definitely rose. Definitely like a buttercream, a yellow cake, and like, I want to say like some kind of a nut. Oh my God, it's so good. And I had this in one room, this in the other room. Outstanding, absolutely outstanding. And this one threw, it's a five plus plus. And this one always does really good. It smells like a spiritual shop, you know? Um, banned books. Oh my God, I melted this yesterday. So freaking good so freaking good i mostly got the um musk tonka bean vanilla rosewood and i think that's what makes up like the whole scent there was a little bit of leather and a little bit of musk but that's really good i really want to like replicate it but like i know when people see something like banned books they're gonna think it's gonna smell like a dusty it doesn't smell like a library or books like at all but it smells like the oils that people use to describe like a library if that makes sense <laughs> I don't know if it does but I'm just so used to people calling this like library old books or pawn shop but those all smell the same but some of those smell better than others this one smells the best but it doesn't at all smell like a dusty book hopefully that makes sense I don't know if I'm making sense <laughs> but I really love that and I want more of it salted rose delicious beautiful love her can't wait to melt more. This one was really nice, also part of the advent calendar. Probably my favorite out of everything because it actually smelled clean. And again, I really love a violet scent because it just smells really soothing to me. I melted some Taurus, super nice, bright, clean, love it in the bathroom, love it in the bedroom. I would get that again. Busy like bunnies, morning sex, fresh spring water, mandarin, sweet mango. I think out of all of these, this wasn't as much fruity in the warmer. Still, I think I might just include all of the ones that I don't like in the upcoming giveaway. Hated this, hated this. I had to um, melt it with some, like a masculine scent that I have because it was so freaking Satsuma and I cannot. You had me at hello. This was so fruity. So fruity, I was disappointed, so no. Spring Fever, out of all of them, I was surprised that this volcano didn't come through. It was actually more clean and masculine, but still very fruity. I don't want this anymore. These were all too fruity, so they will be going in the giveaway. And that's everything. 18 minutes, not bad. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know down below what you guys are currently melting. I feel like March and April always kind of like odd months. I kind of lean more towards like earthy, like floral scents, but it's also kind of weird. Cause I know some people burn like carnival scents. I'm like, should I start burning carnival? I need a good popcorn one. <laughs> Anywho, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.